my wish list plan i'm going to show you guys now i'm so excited about this one hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is amy and in my channel i talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants today i'm doing an episode on repot with me there are a th uh, three repotting that's pretty exciting for me and i hope they're exciting for you too and one of them is actually a plan haul this was on my 2021 wish list plants and i am so happy to have gotten this plant uh, and in the size that it is it, it's just so gorgeous i'm so excited to show you guys um yeah i thought it was going to take me a little bit longer maybe like into springtime to find this plant and also i thought i would have to get like a smaller specimen so i was really happy that a local seller posted this in our local plant group this one for sale and i i thought about it for three minutes and i just went for it uh anyway so the first thing that i want to do actually um is so checking on my wilbur graves so i haven't shown you guys this contraption i actually filmed me setting this up but i didn't actually post the the setup so this is me like trying to air layer my wilbur graves there's like three three different sets of leaves and a really long vine so i figure i'll try to grow roots on them like this and it's been a while now so i kind of want to open it up and see if they've grown roots if they have then i will cut them and then pot it back into uh, the the pot with the mother plant i think um one of them i'm gonna have to i'm gonna give to my brother and the other one my friend had told me that she wanted to buy one and i'm not sure if she still wanted it so that one i may um sell it to her if she's still looking for one but if not then i'm super happy to just keeping like all of the cuttings myself there's another one that i want to show you um hold on maybe uh, if i just take this out so it's easier to show you guys this is such a clumsy attempt to uh, air layer them. Anyways, uh, so I don't know if you could see there are two new leaves growing here. And this is from a rooted cutting that I have planted into the pot. Uh, it wasn't rooting in water, so I was just getting really frustrated and I just put it in the pot and it rooted, but it took months and months and months before it started now showing up, growing new roots. I mean, new leaves here. But yeah, let's take a look at these uh, propagation projects and see if they've taken root. So I just put them in these little cups and I actually cut the cup already so uh, to put it in. So it's really easy to just take it off. And uh, one thing I want to mention about um, checking roots with sphagnum moss is that you should always try to wet the sphagnum moss first before uh, tearing it apart from the roots because uh, it just comes off way easier uh, than had you not wet the sphagnum moss. So let's see if there is any rootage. Looks like there is some. It's a bit of a messy um, process. Yeah, I see a lot of sphagnum moss just kind of um, not be not letting go from the stem which tells me that it has rooted i kind of want to show you guys the roots so i want to take out the sphagnum moss but at the same time i don't want to hurt the roots maybe if i pour some water on it my trusty turkey baster <laughs> All right, so it's got, I don't know if you can see, significant, so this is a root and this is this one yeah. is a root and there's a bunch over here. So I actually, I will be pretty happy to cut this guy. So I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna cut it right above the last uh, rooted part. That's pretty exciting. We got a new plan here. There we go. Oops. So this is the first cutting that I took. Look how beautiful. So these roots will 
do well already, I think. Um, and I've been rooting them in sphagnum moss, so that's what I will continue to keep them in. Oh, look at this, interesting. The sap is actually not, uh, oh, can you see? Not white, it's actually this clear green color. Oops, it's not focusing, it's kind of interesting. Um, okay, let's just keep that there. Okay, same thing, this one, the sphagnum moss seems to be uh, not really wanting to come off, which always a good sign. Look at this one, it has grown even better. So much, so many roots, but there's only one leaf on this one and a, a new stem. So this is another one that I'm gonna be able to add to the pot. So exciting. So I will cut it also closer to maybe just a little bit in the middle. There you go, another one. So when I originally bought this Hoya, it was just a size like this. And now it's offering me this many plants, just so amazing. So the last pair, let's take a look. So this one has two leaves. Wonder, I wonder. I've been keeping this guy, um, the Wil this is the Wilbur Graves, have I not said? Wilbur Graves. I've been keeping it in the grow tent. Um, I'm sure the warmth in there has been very helpful with the rooting. I personally, I've done an experiment with uh, rooting in different environments. I will make a video and show you guys the results. But I personally have decided from what I've seen, warmth is just absolutely critical for when you're rooting something. I've been complaining for a long time now. My house is really cold. <laughs> Some of my viewers have uh, said, like, <laughs> told me that how cold their town is. And, um, you know, like, so compared to them, where I am is super balmy, but I was from Taiwan. Canada is really cold for me. Hmm. Why is there plastic in my the plastic strand? I don't know how it got in there. So, this one, these are the roots. Oh, massive root system, you guys. <laughs> Sorry for yelling into the microphone, I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna cut underneath and then leave this vine because I just, I know that it'll probably try to grow more from this vine. My brother and my friend, they're gonna be so excited when I tell them that it's ready. So I have this pair and then these two. So um, what am I gonna do? You know what i'm actually going to not deal with this right now because i kind of want to text them and ask them what they want and then decide which one i want to pot in here uh yeah so i'm just gonna do the two other tasks before i i uh, decide what to do with these new hoyas but i'm so glad you guys got to see how well i rooted the air layering it worked i didn't have to cut it i didn't risk the plant and uh, they all grew beautiful roots and now I have three new plants of Hoya Wilbur Graves and this this one is already just so gorgeous you can already kind of see the new leaves so it's gonna be pretty splashy yeah hi this is future Amy speaking so I checked with my brother and my friend and they both wanted a rooted cutting from me so I'm really, really excited to be able to finally share them with them because they've been waiting for a long time for my wee little baby to grow up big enough uh, to be able to share. And I ended up being able to keep one cutting myself and I potted it into the original pot with the two other cuttings. So now I will also have a bushier plant for myself. So the second task I wanna do, I'm probably gonna be, make a huge mess, but... Uh let's just get to it you have seen this one behind me it's such a beautiful plant so it's re i'm ready to give this plant a little bit more sphagnum moss it's a huge plant when i first got it i as it was acclimating i uh probably overwatered it and it root had a huge amount of root rot so i when i potted it again i put a lot of leca balls on the bottom uh so that it's not full of um 
sphagnum moss and then and then I put the sphagnum moss to like slowly help it root but as you can see the roots are now growing quite a bit and uh, I kind of want also enough sphagnum moss on the top here to cover this part you see like there is a root can you see over here trying to grow I wanted to I want sphagnum moss to be like so I kind of want to pot this one deeper. That's why I got to take it out and then replace the leka in the pot with more sphagnum moss to kind of shift it up so to support its growth. I could I could probably leave it in there for longer since it's uh, winter time. But you know I just I'm a busy body and I want to like mess with my plants all, all the time. <laughs> Is that the right word, busy body? Yeah, I just, maybe sometimes I shouldn't be messing with stuff, and I, but I just can't help it. I just want to be doing stuff. So I'm going to take these tapes off and take this plant out and shake off as much um, Leica balls as possible and then replace that with sphagnum moss. And then we can get nice, close and intimate with this plant and check out its roots. Over my years of uh, being a plant mom, I have gotten so, ugh, let's do this, so into root porn. Like getting new roots is almost more exciting for me than getting uh, new leaves. Oh, there's a little tender one poking up here. I can see it. Don't hurt the plant. Okay, great. Dump these Leica balls out. All right, guys. Let's check it. Whoa. Oh, you know, it really is so amazing from like having all these like so much dried up roots and it was just so unhealthy to now it having all these new roots growing. It really is makes me feel so happy so i'm gonna plant it deeper i'm gonna put a little bit of sphagnum moss back in there and then gently gently put it back in i want you guys to really like know the root system on the anthurium is so tubular it's not uh as bendable as um a lot of other kinds of roots are so you really have to it's not flexible very much so you really have to be very careful when you um when you're putting repotting it putting it back in because it could snap super easily so there just seems to be so much stump on the top and i kind of want to cover it with um sphagnum moss to give it more moisture it just it loves to grow roots from there all right so this one let me just put the plant tape back in that was easy peasy it's saturday here it, it was super rainy we went out for a little forest hike in the morning even though on our drive to the forest it started pouring it was still a really good time being in nature just it's just so rejuvenating all right guys so this one i think i may uh, give it a little bit of water to settle everything in but she is repotted i love how big she is oh maybe i should support this one too i love how big she is even though she's got those brown edges those are just her battle scars i don't mind them and i really hope now that she's been repotted and she's got pretty handsome roots that come springtime she'll start working on new leaves okay last but not least guys my wish list plant i'm going to show you guys now i'm so excited about this one okay guys are you ready this is the pariso verde oh it's so gorgeous i'm going to cry and not only that look it's got also a new leaf here 
And it looks like it's gonna be a decent sized new leaf too. This is like exactly as I have dreamed of to have. Like I want a big leaf one, but not too, too big. It's just, it's perfect. It is too perfect. I don't really want to disturb it if I don't have to. Where's the pot that I, oops. I forgot to grab the pot. Let's go get it. Normally, I would advise against um, disturbing the roots um, of new plants, especially if they are um, focused on me, <laughs> especially if they are kind of new to your environment. But at the same time, when I first bring a plant home, I really uh, prefer checking out the roots to know where I'm starting with. Um, and then I could plan my care for it a little bit better. I just kind of want to know where it's at. Plus you, whoops, you guys know, like I am not a big fan of using uh, potting soil for my aeroids. Uh, I kind of like really enjoy using sphagnum moss and sphagnum moss mixed with like bark or something. So, and this one is in potting soil and I kind of want to take it out from that gently dump it out Oops. looks like there's some this feels like it's um okay and then i'm gonna actually wash it off a little bit here too <laughs> so the root system looks exactly the same as she has shown in her sales pictures which is good so this was a, an aerial root that was potted and then it's grown um, some little roots from the aerial roots so I'm gonna also pot that and then there are some more roots in here so it's not like a extensive root system for this big plant but it's got enough to work with so so as i'm taking care of it i will take care of it as if i'm still rooting it because that's what's happening for the plant it's still uh it's still rooting so i got a smaller pot for it it doesn't need a huge pot too much potting medium will just not be good i'm gonna mix it a little bit with um for the bottom with some of the leka that i got I just dumped out from my other pot and then also gently put uh, the aerial root in like so uh, and then start to put do you want to see what's happening maybe I'll push this a little bit further so you can see you put sphagnum moss around I really enjoy using sphagnum moss especially have you guys heard of the story of how um, I guess during wartime, I'm sure I'm butchering the story, but during wartime, it has been used as a um, bandage to help uh, keep infection from happening for the for the wounds. And uh, yeah, I just even and working with it, I just find it to be a very uh, gentle uh, medium, and it's very I don't know healing. It, it promotes such root growth and it provides such good aeration for the plants. Uh, yeah, I just, I really, really like it. And I really like the smell of it. Not all the brands, some brands I find the smell to be like kind of smells like urine, but the one, the brand that I use, which is like, I think it's a Japanese brand. Um, I really like the, the way it smells. It doesn't really seem like it needs a lot of support, yeah, but I'm going to put one in anyways. Keep it a little bit upright. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this guy also in my um, grow tent as it's rooting because the warmth really would really help it. Because this plant is so top heavy and uh, the obviously the, oh, have I told you guys? So I really love using these orchid pots because you can really see the root system how it's doing and also it has all these slits that promote further um, 
aeration for the root system. It's just so good for your aeroids. Anyway, so because it's so top heavy, I'm gonna keep it in a terracotta pot so it kind of anchors the plant. It doesn't, it's not gonna flop around. Oh, but yeah, you guys, I feel like just the luckiest girl to have hit, checked this one off my list so early on uh, in the year. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I feel like I just uh, kind of been rambling and rambling and rambling, but uh, I love these plants and I'm so excited about them. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.